Happy Vending. Hello and welcome to Happy Vending. I'm Bill. And before we get started today, I just want to remind you to please subscribe to the channel. Smash that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. We're very close uh, to it. So uh, please consider doing that. Also, you know, ring the bell and smash the like and all that stuff. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Now today, what we're going to be doing is uh, changing a lock on a vending machine. I want to just show you how you change a lock. Now when you buy a vending machine, usually it either doesn't come with a lock or it has a lock and it has one key with it. Hopefully you have the key. If it's locked and you don't have the key, then you're going to have to drill out the lock and that's a whole other story. But what I like to do with my vending machines when I get them is I like to put locks that are all key to like so that I only need one key and it will open up all the machines. So whatever lock is in the machine, I usually remove it and put in my own lock. Now I have a replacement lock right here. Most vending machines have these tubular locks like this and then the lock has this little latch that goes up and down as you open and close the lock and that's how it locks into place in the machine. Now these aren't the highest security locks, they're okay. If you really wanted a high security lock, um, there are manufacturers that make them and they don't necessarily have a tubular lock like this. They might have a, a regular lock that has, uh, you know, the straight pins. Uh, the locks usually have a code on it and that is the key code so if you were trying to buy locks that are all key to like you would buy them set to a certain code and then whenever you needed a key you get the key of that same code. I, I, I actually don't like it when they put the code on the front of the lock because then somebody could just order the key to that code and then next thing you know they're getting into your machines. So personally I like a hidden code on the side. So first of all, to open up a vending machine, if you've never opened one before, you put the key in, you turn it, and then this little T latch should pop out. And then what you have to do is unscrew this. It screws in so that it keeps the seal on the door nice and tight. If it's a soda machine like these, you want that seal tight. You don't want to over tighten it because you don't want to uh, you know, wear out the threads on the lock. Just you want to make it nice and snug. And once it's snug, you would push this in to lock it. But I'm going to um, unscrew this here. This is how you would open up the door. You unscrew it until the door will come forward. If you look on the side of the lock, you're going to see that latch that I was showing you on the other one. That's what locks into the side of the, um, the lock and keeps that pushed in after I tighten it. Now if you put your key in here and you put it in the unlocked position, that latch is going to go in. But it's not going to go in far enough to pull out the lock. You're going to need like a flathead screwdriver to push the latch the rest of the way so that you can pull the lock out towards you. I'm using uh, um, something to open up a paint can, but like I said, you can use a flat screwdriver. Push that latch in and then the lock comes straight out just like this and there we go. So now I'm going to get that other lock that I had that looks the same except it has a different type key and then to put the, the new lock in you just line up the latch where the opening is for the latch, push that latch in so that it fits in the hole and then just push it straight until it latches into place. And then you've just replaced the lock. Close it up, spin it till it's tight. That's snug enough. And then just push it in until it clicks. So there you go, it's that simple to replace a lock on a vending machine. Uh, once again, remember to subscribe, like, hit the bell, all that stuff, and as always, happy vending.